Today we're going to soar to great heights because we're going to talk about wings. And here are the materials that you'll need to do the project. When we think about wings, a lot of times you think about birds, you think about uh, airplanes, uh, all sorts of things like that. But often we forget that insects have wings, and that's what we're going to work on for this project. And I think about insects in terms of their iridescence and how a lot of times they look very metallic. So I thought if we would use black paper and metallic drawing pencils, then we'll get a pretty good start on our bugs. Now, I've already drawn one bug. This happens to be a bug from California. And I've improvised a little bit on it, but um, because once I start drawing, I start getting involved with different textures and things like that. But what this bug needs is a good set of wings. And so in order to do that, I'm going to take a piece of tracing paper, and I'll position it on the bug. And then I'm going to take one of my metallic pencils. And I'm going to, one of the reasons I'm using it tracing paper is because it is transparent, similar to wings. And I can also see the bug underneath, so I know where these wings are going to have to go. So I'm going to put the two main set of wings on, and then maybe a smaller set of wings to finish it off. Okay. And let me so you can see a little bit better about what I'm doing here. So here is my configuration of wings. So on the outside of the wings, I'm going to draw with my this metallic pencil. It has a nice iridescence to it. All right, I'm going to kind of do the outside contours, the outside edges of the wing. And then the wing is kind of like this orange bronze color. So I'm going to take my gel crayon, very smooth, very creamy, and it's transparent. So I can go right on top of my lines. And I don't necessarily have to stay in the lines. And then I can smooth it out a little bit so I, if there's any excess, Take it off, because I want these to be pretty transparent. Okay. Then I'm going to cut the wings out. And then once I have the wings cut out, I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to use my metallic pencil one more time. And when I have an overlap of one wing with the other, I'm going to lightly put a little tone. I'm, I'm doing it in the background because the gel crayon is a little bit wet right now. It stays a little bit waxy for couple hours. All right. Try it on. Okay, now you'll be able to see through the wing to the body of the insect. And now I'm going to use a glue stick to attach my wings. And this is the type that it's going to be purple to begin with, but then when it dries, it goes clear. So I want to get the tips of the wings and the edges, and now I will place it. Now I have papery th thin wings on that one. Now, take the liberty of go ahead and I drew another bug, and this is more my style. I don't often um, do things that are quite as realistic as that. But 
I thought before I do these wings that I'd, I'd, we'd talk just for a minute about using these pencils. Now, if I use a lot of pressure on a black piece of paper like that, then the metallic pencil, very opaque, and now if I grip the pencil a little farther back and use a little bit of pressure, I can gradually add a little bit of pigment and it works with the black tone. So you get kind of a nice sense of shading there. So I could put some eyes on this one. It could be another bug. I like happy bugs. And then if I want to do the same thing with his mouth, or maybe he's got a proboscis. On the top, maybe it's very bright. And as it goes around, it gets darker on the top. So it's really quite a bit of fun to be playing with these metallic pencils on the black paper. All right, so I've got another set of wings for this one that I made for my fantasy bug. And then I can make another set of wings for that one. So once you're working with these materials, time really flies. Before you know it, you have a whole colony of interesting looking bugs with with wings. And you can also, I mean, you don't necessarily have to use the tracing paper, but I, I like it because it kind of really makes it look very similar to the translucence and the quality of wings. But it's okay to draw your wings too, especially if you don't have any tracing paper. You don't want to have a bunch of bugs. You can wing your way through all sorts of stuff with these techniques and have a lot of fun.